we have seen that uh, in a cylindrical tube the conduction hollow cylinder okay if the inside portion has temperature t1 and the outside portion has temperature t2 then how do we say what is the q q depends on similar to our uh, it has a relationship with what fourier heat conduction fourier law for heat conduction in a in a uh, slab but in a slab what happens in a slab in a slab you have this area this is the cross sectional area you take in the slab is it not observe this would be the cross sectional area of the slab is it not this would be a correct so now if this is the case and here there is t1 and this is q which is going this qk is equal to k into a into t1 minus t2 divided by the thickness is it not x of the wall or l we will say this is what we said in the slab this one is equivalent to that but instead of area it is a log mean area makes sense where log mean area is a2 minus a1 divided by log of a2 by a1 that is what is called the log mean area of the now here why minus and plus and all those things you may ask because here the area is area and the heat transfer rate is going in the same direction that is the reason a2 minus a1 okay if you take this as the direction okay anyhow we'll not worry about that okay simply why to introduce complications okay so whatever be the case rest of the portion in the next class so we will do it here okay this is what we did so r k is equal to t2 minus t1 by qk which is equal to xw by k into a log mean if it was a slab then what is r k for the slab it is l by k a so you see the analogy between these two is it not students so it's the same thing instead of a you are taking a log mean that is the only difference Okay. It is the same thing, but here we have we have the a log mean being replaced. Correct. So now, done. Even that is done. Now let us see if you see how the uh, variation is. See in general, what is dt by dr? Dt by dr is equal to minus of minus of or i'll write it in this fashion okay so if you consider qk can be written as minus of delta t minus of delta t delta t divided by 2 pi r 2 pi k into l which is less Understood, no? Pandit Arthan understood. He said what he said you did not understand. What I said you understood. Did not. Don't discuss that. That is my point. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen? The flow goes on. I may not respond every time, but I respond after a lot of time. I hear, then I respond once. That you have to understand. Okay. When everybody is concentrating on one topic, no, then only the things will become the best. Okay, we are going with the lamina flow. Wait a minute, not over, not over. Not over. Okay. 2 by k, I can write dr by, see, I will say dr by, now if you consider this, see here, it is like this, is it not? This is a cylinder, right? See, this is a cylinder. Okay. So, what is it? What is the area here? If you take the smaller area, what is the uh, what is the heat, uh, this one, Fourier law of heat conduction, Q is equal to minus K A, I'm sorry, this is wrong, this is wrong, Where is it? minus K A by DT by DX, correct, same thing we will write, so here, minus K 
into area is 2 pi r dr into dt by dr. Agree? Sorry, sorry. 2 pi r into L. I am very sorry. 2 pi r into L into dt by dr. Agree? Now, I can write, therefore, dt is equal to qk with a minus into 2 pi kl into dr by r. That person had some problem. It was parting continuously. Today he had files. How nuisance these people are. Is it not? Big nuisance. Anyhow, so not worry about that. Okay. So dt is equal to minus qk by 2 pi kl dr by r. Now integrate it. What do you get while you integrating? Integrating, we will get this as this. I can write it as I will write this as C1 into dr by r, where C1 is equal to minus qk divided by 2 pi kl, which is a constant. We well, consider that's constant. Then temperature gradient, the temperature is equal to C1 into log of r plus a constant C2. So how the variation of temperature is there? It is logarithmic variation. If you consider a slab, how is the variation? It is a linear variation. This might come as a theory question. The variation of a temperature in a cylinder is a cylindrical uh, thick cylinder from inside to the outside is logarithmic. It is not linear, but whereas if you see here, it is linear. See, observe, it is linear, right? Where did we have that T? We did not derive T, but still we go, we know the, if QK is constant, then the variation is quadratic with temperature. Okay. So don't have to worry. Okay. So it is variation is linear. If it is k is not changing. Okay. We can prove that. Okay. I'll give that to you, you to you as a homework. Okay, you have to see. But to prove that it is linear. Okay. You do that. Here it is quadratic, is it not? Can you prove that in a uh, slab it is linear? I think you should be able to. Same thing. What do you do? You have to write QK is equal to yeah, minus k into a dt by dx. Correct. So you say dt is equal to qk dx divided by k into a. Area is constant. This is constant. So it has to be linear. Easy. So these things you should be comfortable. This is nothing great. Okay. Only thing is that you have to apply your mind and you will get it. Here this R comes because the area is dependent on R. 2 pi R into L, right? So temperature variation is this. Okay, this is important. What is the, let it be red only. Are you comfortable with red students? Black, black. black is better? Okay. So this next slide will be black. Okay. So this would be 14 and this would be 15. Make sense? Should be. Okay. Now, if I put a C1 and C, we can say where C1 and C2 has to be evaluated. Evaluated using boundary conditions. Boundary conditions R is equal to R1, T is equal to T1. When at R is equal to R1, T is equal to T, R is equal to R2, T is equal to T. 
what is this type of condition called boundary condition initial condition is a boundary condition okay so this is class 3 is it not date today is 9 today have did a random mistake there so at least we will complete this by next uh, uh, week we will complete conduction by this week the basics will be complete convection one week radiation one week you know we can do it within uh, the 25th of november i complete with us then we will go with operation with I'll change to black. Black. In India, black is preferred generally. You know that, no? Indians like black more than anything. It's only recent after people have. On curve, which is why we are like in other words, we like black. Yes, fine because we think black is very pure because it has burnt. The one which has gone through the burning is pure, is it not? So, now when two cylinders are in series, when two cylinders are in series like this this is cylinder one cylinder two is over here this is cylinder in series okay this is one cylinder this is the other side. when we have two cylinders in series which has k1 and k2 and r1 r2 everything so if that is the case the total resistance total resistance is equal to resistance r equals r1 plus r2 which is equal to x w1 divided by k1 a log mean 1 plus x w2 plus k2 a log mean 2 so we can have any number here it's not just two it can be any number okay where where xw1 is equal to r2 minus r1 in case i say this is r1 and i say this is r2 and if i say this is r3 okay, and we have xw2 is equal to r3 minus r2 a log mean 1 
a log min 1 is equal to we can say a2 minus a1 by log a2 by a1 or we can say this is a better way of putting when while doing calculation don't calculate area again it becomes a headache okay so you can write directly r2 minus r1 into l divided by log of r2 by r1 remember this equation so you take log mean it's easier to calculate okay that is log mean temperature okay remember this equation see and in case it is t3 this is t2 and this is t1 in case then i will write to okay, write in next time then students now further going we can see the total heat transfer rate the heat transfer rate qk is equal to t1 minus t3 by r which is equal to t1 minus t2 by r1 that is equal to T three minus T two by R two makes sense. Is it? These are pretty easy things, is it not? then next now let us see heat conduction through sphere very important heat conduction through a sphere students in apex we have two types of things is it not 
one is if you fail then we will give you a job okay we will try to get you a job second thing is we try to improve your career by improving your basics i'll tell you second one the returns what you get is huge the second thing where you you develop by yourself okay that the returns are really really huge it comes multiple times what you get without gate without this one what you go no the amount of returns you get is very less but the basics are were very, very strong and the returns are at least two or three times higher so that has to be understood yes. then what So, I did a mistake. This is T two. Let this be K two. Let this be K one. Okay, fine. Not proper. Ah, T two. My bad. So, heat conduction through a sphere. Okay. So now, if you are uh, conducting heat through a sphere, observe, you are taking a hollow sphere. Actually, this is a sphere, not a cylinder. So from wherever you see, its cross section is a circle, right? So let us have a circle here. to make a circle is so difficult so, and here you have this small circle is fine you can draw almost a small circle okay and then if i take a shell at a distance of r in here and its thickness is dr and let us say here the temperature is t1 and here the temperature is t2 if that is the case okay now in general we can write qk is equal to minus ka into dt by dr agree dt by dr or here in this case for the uh, yeah for the spherical shell or the spherical shell considered with thickness dr and radius dr tending to 0 okay dr tending to 0 and radius r we can write we can write qk is equal to minus k into 4 pi r square into dt by dr okay or i can say dt is equal to minus qk divided by 4 pi k into dr by r square Correct. You will integrate. Let us integrate from t1 to t2. Here we will integrate from r1 to r. Now, when you perform the integration, we get t2 minus t1 is actually equal to 4. Sorry, minus qk divided by 4 pi k into 1 by r1. Minus one by correct one by R one minus one by R sorry it's R two R one then uh, yeah so we can write uh, wait the mistake here I suppose no mistakes yeah. So what you get is R two R one and this has to be plus, is it not? 
observe here wait a minute let me do it again so 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 and when you change it here you'll get a plus correct okay now further going okay we can write this as further i can write qk is equal to 4 pi k into t2 minus t1 divided by r1 r2 r1 r2 minus of minus sorry minus so r2 minus r1 here and here you will get this as okay there you will get r2 minus r1 r2 minus r1 here i will make t1 minus t2 and here i will write this as r1 r make sense correct or yeah i'll write it again q yeah same thing okay r2 minus r1 now this can be written this is important okay this is important okay write it at equation number 16 last one was 15 i suppose is it not last one was 15 correct this will be 16 i can write also qk is equal to qk is equal to minus k into area which is geometric mean area geometric mean area into t1 minus t2 divided by xw wall thickness and this is important students right this is 17 here agm okay geometric mean area is square root of a1 and a2 right, let me write that. A minus uh, minus is not required. Yes, here t1 minus t2 minus is wrong. I am sorry, plus minus is wrong. Plus because t1 and t2 here and there we have done. If you done t2 minus t1, then it's minus. Is now here here agm here agm is geometric mean area is the geometric mean area given as square root of a1 a2 which is equal to 4 pi r1 square into 4 pi r2 square and the root of it. What you will get here? You will get this as 4 pi r1 r2. That is age. Make sense? This is sorry, 18. Keep on writing, keep on writing. Note. So, thermal resistance, thermal resistance 
R is equal to R K is equal to X divided by K into E summation. Very good. So what is happening for a plate? So summary for a plate. For a or uh, for a plate, uh, for a plate, our plate is equal to x by k e. Our cylinder is equal to x ball divided by k into e log mean. Our sphere is equal to x. Divided by k into e geometry. This is 19. You can call. This is just a summary. So conduction complete here. The basics of conduction. Okay. This is the first chapter where I introduce all the basics. Next, we will go with convection. X volume. X wall, X shell. And here also you can write X wall. It's wall. number of questions which are there. We'll do that questions uh, a bit later. Okay, not now. Okay. Easy question. Huh? Yes, same thing we will do. Okay. When we will give you time to forget and then remember. Seriously, yes. Next one is this okay. uh, convection agent. He says the introduction to all these things. What happened? Yeah. So now let us go further. Okay. Convection agent. See. Convection heat transfer basically is conduction plus advection. Now what is happening is whenever there is a flowing fluid, say this is a heated plate. If I have a hot plate and then say I have a cold fluid. So uh, what happened? What is and then what is advection? But keep in mind conduction plus advection. It is not a pure form of heat transfer. Pure form of heat transfer is conduction and radiation alone. This is heat transfer plus fluid transportation. That is advection. Not in the presence of fluid. In the transportation of the fluid. Advection means fluid transport it gets advected it gets removed from that place so by the action of these two things you have convection happening that's what i'm explaining here so let us say this is a cold fluid moving now what is going to happen whenever a hot plate and a cold uniform stream of fluid is coming, there is a formation of the boundary layer, correct? We know there is a formation of the boundary layer, agree? Now here in convection, the first thing is we are talking about the boundary layer, okay? But let us ignore the boundary layer for a moment, okay? 
Now what happens, the cold fluid here will get attached, will get near to the hot fluid, sorry, hot plate. So it gets attached to the hot plate, gets heated up and gets pushed or squeezed by the uh, neighboring, uh, what, whatever the, uh, the fluid which is coming from back, it's pushing it. Okay, so it takes some heat and goes here. And it gives some heat here. Some, so initially there is conduction here. All these are packets. So here there will be a small fluid packet which is sticking to it. Then there is another fluid particle which is moving actually. There is another fluid particle which is moving, which is moving like this. After some time this would go like this. After some time it will go like this. Now here there are other fluid particles which has less temperature. So the fluid particle which is moving over here, say small fluid particle moves over here, where there is less temperature. So first of all, conduction happens over here. And then this goes to the another place somewhere after some time it will reach here with high temperature. The surrounding fluid is cold. There is conduction happening. So conduction is happening here and that is taken somewhere else. Make sense? It is like conduction is happening. If only conduction is happening, these, uh, if only conduction is happening, is like the, uh, what do you say, the seeds of a plant. I'm seeing a tree. A tree seeds will fall just below. It cannot go to much higher distances. But think there are monkeys. Monkeys will take those seeds and travel long distances and they will see that the seeds seeds are put a long distance from the tree and the tree's population grows in that region you understand similarly here the, the seeds is here the seed it takes somewhere here and puts it down and then conduction happens there this total process is called conduction it does happen. Does happen. Okay, but it's less outside the velocity boundary layer. Now there is something called thermal boundary layer which is formed. This is only velocity gradient that we are seeing. Then also there will be something called thermal boundary layer. It may be above the velocity boundary layer. It can be below the velocity boundary layer. Now, what is thermal boundary layer? The cold fluid, say, it has T infinity as the temperature. And it is coming with U infinity as the velocity. What is VBL when U is equal to, almost equals to U infinity? Correct. What is TBL? What is the th thermal boundary layer? Thermal boundary layer depends on, see, the distance. This is T wall. So T wall minus T infinity, T wall minus T infinity is the highest one. So T minus T infinity, T minus T infinity, local temperature minus the, uh, what do you say, or we can write, okay, T minus T wall, this also we can write. Local temperature minus the wall temperature should almost reach 0 0.99 times T wall minus, wait a minute, yeah, uh, T, yes, T minus T wall should be almost 0.99 times T wall minus T. So, wherever, wherever, T minus T wall divided by T wall minus T infinity is equal to 0.99. You have thermal boundary layer. So thermal boundary layer T minus T wall divided by T wall minus T infinity is 0 0.99. Make sense? Here U by U infinity is almost equal to 0 0.99. There is a thermal boundary, a velocity boundary. 
and then there there is thermal boundary layer and heat transfer happens inside the thermal boundary layer right heat transfer happens basically inside the thermal boundary layer because of the thermal boundary how it is important i will tell okay see here in general what is it uh, your q q i will write this first then i will give you time to write it down students if you say q due to conduction q sir one thing is is what minus k here of the fluid sorry, previous slide here the conduction is because of the fluid into area whatever the area be into t infinity minus t wall or t wall minus t infinity ah t here they have there is a minus so t infinity minus t wall hello chetan mic off okay, okay. yeah tell me chetan there once previously yes don't have to write this ah, okay. i have not given you time to write okay i am not given time to write i'll give you time to write nobody has written this things okay so so now here t wall minus t infinity or we'll write this as plus and then we will write t wall minus t infinity divided by what should be the thickness the thickness is thermal boundary layer thickness where delta t is thermal boundary layer thickness making now this is generally written as qk is equal to kf divided by delta t into a into tw minus t infinity and this kf divided by delta t is called h is called h a into t w minus t infinity what is h h is heat transfer coefficient where and this is what this is newton's law of cooling this is newton's law of cooling where cooling whatever the number is the number is what 18 19 20 20 here h is heat transfer coefficient whole boundary layer theory we do it to find out this h exact depends on the fluid depends on the fluid its viscosity and conductivity depends on the viscosity conductivity density also the same thing happens in boiling boiling of water how boiling out Down layer in the water. Mainly, but that is buoyancy in that. This is not because of buoyancy. But then, this kind of things where flow is happening, this is called the forced convection. This is called forced convection. And of course, yes, there is free convection. in free convection because it gets less denser it goes up because of the buoyancy and then convection happens here we are pumping the fluid or we are blowing the fluid over the heat transfer example of free convection forced convection is correct okay examples of forced convection is when you go in a bike and the engine is getting cooled that is called a forced convection is it not the bike engine which is where the water where the air is going over it is it not we'll go much deeper into it we'll go much deeper in right this
once you finish this you tell me and thermal boundary layer can be below or above the velocity boundary layer We'll see that. We have, we have, we have unsteady conduction. We'll do it next. What is done now? Conduction is in, uh, told to you. What is convection? A bit of convection is given to you. Ruchi no do the Then we'll have a nice uh, lunch. Now it is just tasting. Huh? Appetizers. Appetizers. Yes. Because when you do conduction, you need a uh, you need a knowledge about convection as well as radiation a bit. So next when we are going with pins, you require heat transfer coefficient there. So that's why this has to be introduced. Here we assume that once you are, you know at least the structure of how heat transfer goes, which happens in your engineering, is it not? In engineering, convection was done, is it not? Done? No. Then, okay, next. Online student done, no? Previous one not done? Okay, right. Once we have convection was done after unsteady. Huh. For us. But convection in initial introduction was not there. Huh? They have introduced for you. Who did that? I know, I have talked to him a lot. When I go, I go, I go and sit in his chamber, on his chamber or our Tomoyaji chamber, or Nitin's, Nitin Shetty's chamber. Three people. These are my contact points. Or sometimes Shashi Khan, sir. Hey, there are so many people there. Vidya Sagar, sir. These are all my, uh, when I go, these are the people whom I am very close to. Where does Shashikan sir live? So when the home is nearby, it is easy to travel. Is it not? But Karkala is 17 kilometers. From Nitin? Huh? Well, Nitin in the Karkala is 17 kilometers. Huh? Come here. Okay. 
not that nearby also. For me, I thought, uh, okay, next day to Karkala, Karkala to Mudubidra is 5-5 kilometers. That isn't my mindset. How good it would have been if it was just like that. The small region is so big, is it not? should uh, develop a new efficient transportation system where cheaply we can install as well as remove some transportation which can go very high speeds. True. Trains could have been easily put here. Politics. What is that? They have a lobby of private buses. That's it. Nothing great. And private contractors who again and again pick the road and make the road. In, in, we have, even now we have. What is required? They, they put tram inside Kolkata, it seems. You can't put a train rack beyond the road. Who says that? We can easily put beyond the road, we can put a train track and have a warning system when the train comes. That's it. Can't we have it? Very well, we can have it. Okay. Huh? Exactly. Easy to have a tram. Cheap also. You or the uh, Britishers could do, we couldn't do, of course. It's. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, so now uh, one of the things, see one of the things what happens, you know, the heat transfer actually happens in, see what is the quantity of heat transfer that is happening, depends on, see whether it is, uh, so we have talked about post convection, what about free convection, that is post convection, what is free convection, free convection is about action of buoyancy, action of buoyancy action of buoyancy to uh, action of buoyancy action of buoyancy uh, causing advection action of buoyancy causing advection or transportation of the fluid right so what happens generally if you have a hot plate okay like we have our okay okay if you have a hot plate okay what will happen here if you have a hot plate hot plate here the fluid particle will get heated up okay the particle particle near the hot plate gets heated, gets heated and due to, due to expansion, expansion, density reduces, reduction in density causes buoyancy force that causes transportation of fluid particles to the top or in the vertically upward direction. Right. This goes here. First heat is transferred here. Then it gets, it becomes an air balloon, hot air balloon, and it goes up. And here it is small, here it is big. 
because it is expanded and it goes to the place where there is less temperature and gives out its heat. And then again it comes down, it may come down later on again. So there is something called uh, Rayleigh Bernard convection. Just to introduce you, something called a Rayleigh Bernard convection. Rayleigh Bernard. Okay, let, that I'll introduce in a moment after joining a it's a hot plate. If I had a cold plate here, same effect will happen. Cold plate. You have a cold plate. Then what will happen? The particle in contact with the cold plate, the particle in contact with the cold plate, cold plate will contract, contract causing increase in density density and the fluid particle is transported is transported vertically downwards downwards this together is called free convection okay so these as well as this together is called free convection and here it goes up and then it may come down here like this so it goes in a convection loop here this goes down and then it goes up yes there is a convection loop here also and this causes it to cool down and it's a slow process it's not a fast process Post convection is a fast process. Pre convection is a slow process. This is how hot air balloon goes up, is it not? You heat the air using gas. Huh? It has more heat transfer coefficient. No, no. Efficiency, we will talk about it. What you call efficiency, it depends. The slow process. So you are saying it is efficient because of slow process. What is efficiency? Whenever you talk, it is efficiency and all those things. You have to see what are you talking about. Are you talking about, see generally when you say efficiency, we say what is the effect divided by what is the effort. Just because it is slow process, it may not be efficient. Ah, okay. Fine. Fine. So efficient in the sense it has low entropy generation, you see? Probably. That's why you see if you if you are sitting in an AC room. You get your feet cold. Have you observed that? From now on, observe that. You sit in an AC room. After some time, first thing to get cold is your feet. Is it not? The person in the ground floor will get a lot of happiness because it's. Uh, what is it? his ceiling is cold. Okay. So that is why to avoid that they put mattresses on the floor. So if you want to save energy, put mattress on the floor. If you are in an AC chamber. That's why in an AC chamber you have to put mattresses. If you put these tiles and all those things, so it will be much more uh, to say you will take more energy to cool. Put a met nobody put metal next to that thing. 
ียนอุ้มเชลล์ริชพีเพิลจุดๆฮาร์ดปัญชินามาดิเดอะรูปเมดอัตออฟบราสออฟบรอนซ์ทีมันทุเรนเทมเพิลส์ยูฮาร์ดได้ในเทมเพิลส์ยูซีวอตอิสอะรูปเมดอัตออฟบราสออฟบรอนซ์ตามบ่ายสุดบราสออฟบรอนซ์ Brass, yeah, it is made out of brass. Why don't ask me? I don't know. You see temples, especially Kerala style temples. Otherwise, gold is something. Amritsar, Madhur gold. Hey, it's gold plate. Tirupati gold plate. Huh? Maybe other things. Probably. Hmm. This is free convection, and this free convection can happen in a vertical plate also. And when there is a vertical plate in free convection, there is boundary layer. Velocity boundary layer, thermal boundary layer, both will be. Here there is no boundary layer. Okay, there is a circulation layer. There is sometimes what happens is, you will have one cold plate. Let us have a cold plate. Write it along with me, students. There is a cold plate, and then there is a hot plate. Don't try it only when I say. Okay, not to. Okay, cold and hot. So whatever is in the cold will come down. Whatever heat it will go up. Okay, and this is. These are called convection cells. These are called convection cells. And this is called a Rayleigh Bernard flow. Or convection, and when you see it from the top, you know, when you see the top view of that, or you cut a section, it will be hexagonal section. Yeah, this one when you cut, when you see it from the top, uh, it will be hexagons. Convection cells. Ah, convection cells are hexagons. Is it a hexagon? Yes. It's beautiful, and it's hexagon. It's hexagon. It goes up and down, but how it goes? It goes in terms of hexagon. Fantastic. That's how it is. The reasons for that. There are analysis for that. This is called like Rayleigh Bernard cells. If you see some of the uh, in your uh, fields, when field dries up, what is the general? Uh, what do you say? When the cakes in the field will get dried up, you have cracks. How are the cracks? Excellent shape, is it not? Have you asked any time how, why is it an excellent? My professor works on Rayleigh Bernard convection. If you want to work on Rayleigh Bernard convection, Aligram Tiwari is there. The others also, our sir is also. Then there is called something called Marangani convection, which works on the difference in the surface tension. Because temperature, surface tension is a, a, a surface tension is a. Uh, is a function of temperature. So because of that, there is something called Marangani convection. 
which is a very important microfluidics. Because surface tension is pronounced in microscopic system. So a lot of scope pronounced. Then, then there is one thing called if there is a vertical plate. These are all different types of convections you can have. You may have a vertical plate, hot plate. If it is a hot plate, which is vertical, the fluid over here, because of buoyancy, it goes up. And you get something called a velocity boundary layer here. VBL. And how is the uh, how is the velocity profile there? Velocity profile is like this. Velocity boundary here, velocity is zero. Here velocity is maximum. And here it goes to zero. This is the velocity boundary. Next is what is the thermal boundary layer? Here it is T infinity. Here it is T wall. Here that is the same thing. I'll say thermal boundary layer. U is equal to velocity boundary layer is U is equal to almost zero. Not when U is equal to maximum, when U is equal to zero. Here TBL is when T is equal to T infinity. Or you can have the other way around also T minus T infinity, T minus uh, T minus T wall is almost equal to T infinity minus T wall or 0.99% of that. Makes sense? Almost equal to right? 0 0.99, 0 0.95, anything. Makes sense? This is thermal boundary. And if you have a vertical plate which is cold, cold plate, then what will happen if there is a cold plate? The velocity will come downwards. This is the VBL. And this may be the TBL. Make sense? And how is the VBL? VBL goes like this. Correct? This is the velocity. Everything in equations. Later on, we will derive this. This is just introduction to you, all the type of convections. It is like, tumhe pata hai, aise bhi hota hai. Itna hi bolna hai, phir. That's enough. Very interesting today. Thermal is very interesting. Same is everything. Here you try to find out new phenomena in thermal. Thermal is more related to pure science. But then we try to get some devices, microfluidic devices. But we have to manufacture. Manufacturing comes normally to everything. Don't think manufacturing, you are doing thermal, you don't need manufacturing. You are doing design, you don't need manufacturing. Or don't think that you are doing manufacturing, don't need thermal and design. Told you, it's everything interdependent. You need all-round knowledge. All-rounder only wins. You don't live in compartment nowadays. It is globalization. Correct. Done.
Agora está. Next. One gimmick, which is used generally. Gimmick. Okay. Gimmick is like this. So if you have free convection or forced convection, you have free convection or forced convection. See, Q due to conduction. I'm not saying convection. Conduction is actually equal to minus K of the fluid into area of the plate into dt by dy at y is equal to u. Agreed? Agreed. This is the Fourier law of heat conduction, correct? What is this? This is Fourier law. That is the heat conduction. Now, have you, do you, uh, do you see the relationship with velocity? Shear stresses. What is shear stress? Mu into du by dy at y is equal to 0. So, since there is a relationship between heat transfer and shear stress, in convection also, we will establish a relationship between coefficient of friction and coefficient of heat transfer. You understand what is this? This is all shear stress. Now here, or this, if it is equal to QC, what is QC? QC is equal to HC into A into TW minus T infinity. Correct. So there is a relationship, is it not? So what is the relationship? Comparing, since if QK is equal to QC, then, then HC, HC is equal to QC by A divided by TW minus T infinity, correct? And, uh, yeah, if, or we will not write this one, okay. We know HC is equal to, from this I am writing, from this I am writing this, fine. And what is KF? KF can be written as, or uh, uh, so, okay, since, since QC is equal to QK, QC is equal to QK, I can write HC is equal to, HC is equal to minus of KF, KF into dou T by dou Y at Y is equal to 0 divided by TW minus T infinity. This is a very, very, very important relation. Very, very important. Used in number of equations. Okay, how does the relation come? Make sense? So what is the number here? 21? 20 is over? 21? Which is very, very, very important. Equation 21 is very, 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 very important. Very to the power infinity important because most of the questions you are using this only. You will find at least 60 to 70 percent of the questions which are like this. In either form. Huh? Sorry. You know, last minute is not It's not very important. Okay. D T and the uh, both are the same. D T and no no it won't be the same. D, D T by D Y is there. Hello Murli sir. Good good afternoon sir. Okay sir. Okay, sir. Yes sir yes sir sure. Sir. Oh, congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. 
yeah 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 very nice oh very nice okay yeah 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 i understand don't worry don't worry okay chalo yes sir yes sir sure sir sure sir hello sir hello sir you wanted to say something sir yes sir yes sir sure sir sure sir congratulations sir congratulations you are not in nvh now no then oh super super okay. yeah yeah sure sure Yes, yes, yes. All the best, all the best. Yes. Bye, sir. So, sir has been, sir has gone to Mahindra now. You just told you no. Gone to Mahindra now. So, he's getting less time. So, if that is the case, in case he says, I will do theory of machines. Theory of machines will be mine for you. So, in case he says no. इनफिनिटी divided by qc which is also equal to 1 by hc into a kelvin per watt so many kelvin per watt makes sense so this is resistance to convection because of very very important this is equation number 22 so very very important students it is as easy as today morning what we did faraday but the thing is this is much more important here you can sure shot get to marks so importance is very high here whatever i am doing now highly important things because you will be using this everywhere every gate you will use this formula then no next let us look at overall heat transfer coefficient very very important. what is it overall heat transfer coefficient see if you say you okay see uh, one point i want to tell you students here h what is the unit of h here unit of hc is watt per meter square kelvin has to be answered meter square kelvin conductivity is watt per meter kelvin heat transfer coefficient is watt per meter square kelvin okay that's it. okay so now in case i have a wall we know near the wall there is natural plus post convection so here you say this is the wall this is the wall material and here say the heat transfer happens this is the heat transfer direction this is q direction now 
or I will write it as Q. Here I will see this is the air which is hot and there is a heat transfer coefficient Hc on the hot side because heat transfer coefficient bases itself on convection. We do not know what is the boundary layer thickness which is formed here. And based on that, we can have an overall heat transfer coefficient, average one. So it is generally this wall can be a wall which is of a pipe in a heat exchanger. This can be a pipe wall. It can be a wall where one side there is hot fluid, other side there is cold fluid. It may be a wall of an insulator. It may be a wall of an insulator in a blast furnace. What is it? Hc cold. Heat transfer coefficient. Sorry, H. Heat transfer coefficient convection hot. Hc hot. And here you may have T cold and Hc cold. Hc is heat transfer coefficient convection and cold side. You may have that, is it not? A lot of places, this kind of things. It can be also the uh, wall of a airplane outside 57 degrees centigrade minus inside when the airplane moves in the uh, on the uh, when it is cruising at this cruising height. Outside temperature is minus 50 degrees centigrade, minus 50, 55 degrees centigrade. Inside temperature has to be in 20s. So hot side will be inside one, hot cold side will be outside one. So all these cases I'm talking about. Now what happens? What is the resistance here? So outside is T1. The wall temperature need not be the same. Wall temperature may be different. So there is a resistance which is convective resistance. So here it is R convective, I'll say R1, which is given as 1 by Hc, which is average on that side, into area, which is hot. Right. And then here you will have T wall 1, I will say. And then there is conductive resistance. R2 is equal to the thickness, whatever their x divided by k into a. a can be log mean, e can be, uh, uh, if it is a sphere, it can be geometrical mean, it can be anything. Okay. Then this is Tw2, wall 2. Then there is a resistance here, which is taking it to T2. This resistance is R3, which is equal to 1 divided by Hc into A cold. And all these three things are in parallel. Sorry, all these three things are in series. So you may have overall the, the total resistance, the total resistance, the total resistance the total uh, resistance R is given as R1 plus R2 plus R3, which is given as 1 by HCA hot plus X by KA, or I will write it HC1 into A1, I will write that HC1 into A I can write this plus 1 by Hc2 into A, correct? Or since Qc is equal to Th minus Tc by R, I can write Qc is equal to Th or this, okay, Qc minus Qh or I can write it also as Instead of writing Hc into R, I can also write overall heat transfer coefficient into the overall area into Th minus Tc. 
which will give me t or t2 minus t1 t2 or t hot okay let it be so then this would be t hot is it not so i'll write this as t1 let it let it be t1 and t2 let this be t1 and t2 fine t1 and t2 right now comparing therefore what should be u u should be equal to here one one thing what happens is r and u a so u should be equal to 1 by r a 1 by r a correct or or 1 by u a should be equal to r which is equal to 1 by h c 1 a plus x by k a plus 1 by h c 2 a very very important that is how overall heat transfer coefficient is this equation we can write it as equation number 23 which is very 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 important this you can write v v v v v v v v v in infinity in overall heat transfer coefficient is one of them this we will talk more about this in the next class we'll stop